REZ 2013-12. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Uh, ultimately, on this property, the request is to update the site plan that was approved by the board in 2012. I think for uh, updates, as far as they're concerned, the only thing I can <coughs> offer you is that the county engineer did ride out to the property to investigate it because of the condition the planning commission recommended to put on there about the fencing. Uh, and I can tell you that should the board so choose to move forward with that condition, um, we need to modify the language and the location of that fence because it's not going to work with the relationship to the detention pond that's out there. So if the board so chooses and you want to move forward with that condition, I do think we need to prepare some alternate language we can work on at that time. Otherwise, that's the only update I have. I know um, Mr. Fletcher went out today, and I appreciate that effort. So that's the only update I would offer you before tonight. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Okay, we'll now turn it over to the, the public. Is there anyone in the op audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? All right, hearing none, we'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Mr. Davenport, what was the discussion um, regarding the fence, how does a developer feel about the absence or presence of a fence? Uh, overall, <coughs> I think the developer is willing. And let me pull up the survey and try to give you an example of where they propose it's going to be. Um, overall, I think the developer is willing. Um, however, I, I think that what they've agreed to do, um, he was going to require his builders on lots one through eight which is the very northern portion according to that site plan, to build on their particular property lines. The Planning Commission condition really applies to the northern line against the adjacent neighbors. And that line is problematic for our engineering department because of the maintenance <coughs> of the um, detention pond, which is adjacent to it. So I think you have uh, something where he's giving his word that his builders that he sells this to is going to install a fence along those property lines. And then you have the Planning Commission condition, which applies to a different set of property lines about 30 or 40 feet to the rear. Can you give us a little insight into why the Planning Commission recommended the fence? Yes, sir. Um, ultimately, and, and honestly, Mr. Hall is in the audience. He was the one who made the motion. And I don't think there was anyone who spoke against it publicly. I think he was just concerned about protecting those neighbors to the north from the two-story residences that are proposed to be built there. Any other questions? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. Do, do we need to, <clears throat> excuse me, in the motion, Mr. Mr. Davenport, Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. do we need to make some verbiage in the motion allowing you to <coughs> negotiate uh, having the fence or not having the fence? Is that what you're saying? We can go that direction. I mean, staff approved it without a condition for fencing. The Planning Commission added that. So we're flexible as to the board's wishes about whether you want to add it or modify it or take it off. We're, we're flexible. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve this request with option number one approval without any conditions. Okay, we have the motion to approve the request with no conditions. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll now call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the request is approved. 